What's the difference between apes and monkeys? Monkeys and apes are both types of primates, but they fall under two different subcategories. At a glance, they may look similar, however, there are differences that distinguish them from one another. If you want to know the differences between apes and monkeys, make sure to watch until the end. Earlier, we mentioned that apes and monkeys are primates. What is a primate anyway? In a nutshell, primates are mammals that are identified for their advanced cognitive abilities and development, such as having hands and feet that can grasp, long lifespans and slow growth, and giving birth to only a few offspring. To help you understand better, let's talk about apes and monkeys individually. Apes Around 25 million years ago, the first apes evolved and they came in a very diverse group. However, as a result of the Earth's temperature cooling down and drying out and the changing of their forested habitat to woodland and grassland, many species of ape became extinct. Today, there's only 20 species of apes that exist which are divided into two main groups, namely the lesser apes and the greater apes. The lesser apes are smaller-bodied apes of around 14 species, including gibbons and siamangs. Meanwhile, the greater apes are large-bodied apes with four main types, mainly gorillas, bonobos, orangutans, and chimpanzees. Both of these two main groups of apes are active during the day. Chimpanzees and bonobos are the closest living relatives of mankind. Chimpanzees are mostly found in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. However, they have become extinct in some areas. They can also be found in Africa, from Sudan and Tanzania in the east to Senegal and Angola in the west. They inhabit the tropical rainforests of the said locations. Meanwhile, wild bonobos are only found in the forests south of the Congo River. They are smaller, slimmer, and darker than chimpanzees. Orangutans are the largest arboreal or tree-dwelling apes in the world. They can only be found on two islands in the world, Sumatra in Indonesia and Borneo in Malaysia and Indonesia. Gorillas, on the other hand, are ground-dwelling apes that live in the tropical forests of equatorial Africa. They are the largest living primates and the leader of each troop is called a silverback. When it comes to their features, apes have larger and more complex brains than other primates. They also have hair instead of fur, fingernails instead of claws, distinct molar teeth in the lower jaw with a Y5 pattern, a binocular vision, and opposable thumbs. Moreover, they have an appendix, a rib cage that gives them a broad yet shallow chest and padded digits with fingerprints. Monkeys Meanwhile, monkeys are very social animals who live in troops most of the time. The majority of their species inhabit tropical rainforests. All species are active during the day except for the Duraculi of tropical Central and South America. They have a tail, a narrow chest, and they also have a short and flat face, except for the mandrels and baboons. Like apes, monkeys are divided into two main groups, the Old World monkeys and the New World monkeys. All Old World monkeys belong to the Cercopithecidae family and they are classified as catarines, which means downward-nosed. Meanwhile, New World monkeys are classified as platyrines or flat-nosed. Based on this, you now have an idea that Old World and New World monkeys are distinguished by the form of their nose. As a troop, monkeys are hardy animals who can adapt to a wide variety of environments, from mountains and rainforests to even urban areas. Just like humans, monkeys like to communicate. They can communicate with each other through facial expressions, sounds, and pheromones depending on their species. They do fight with one another, but they can reconcile. Again, depending on the species, monkeys eat a variety of food including fruits, seeds, tree sap and gum, nuts and leaves. Some eat only grass while others are omnivorous and will eat eggs, insects, and small animals. Some types of monkeys include mandrill, baboons, tarsier, tamarin, macay, marmoset, and spider monkey. Now that you have an idea of both apes and monkeys, let's get into the heart of this video, the differences between the two primates. 1. Presence of a tail Perhaps the easiest way to distinguish an ape from a monkey is that they have tails or they don't. That's because most species of monkeys have a tail, but apes do not. Monkeys, specifically the New World ones, have prehensile tails that are capable of grasping objects including a tree branch. They typically inhabit canopies of forests wherein they use their tails to climb, swing, and hang as they forage for food. Meanwhile, Old World monkeys have a non-prehensile tail. That means they can't use their tails to grasp, but they use it more for balance and weight distribution. They can live in canopies, but they can climb without the use of their tails. Monkeys never stay on the ground for long as trees provide them shelter, food, as well as protection from wild predators that may be lurking on the ground. In addition, living in trees allows them to easily travel by jumping from one branch to the other. 
On the other hand, apes have a different form of locomotion, whereas they spend less time in the treetops and tree canopies, hence the absence of tails. 2. Communication Skills Both apes and monkeys use touch, noises, smells, and visual cues to communicate with one another. While monkeys can communicate through sounds and body languages, apes, being more intelligent, have more advanced cognitive and language skills. Despite lacking physiological adaptions needed to create speech, apes exhibit a wide range of language abilities. As a matter of fact, they have been taught to communicate with humans using sign language, body language, and even technology. 3. Body Shape and Size Apes have a body shape and skeleton that, compared to monkeys, is far more similar to humans. Typically, they're bigger and heavier, and they also have broad chests with shoulder joints that enable them to swing through trees. Apes also have appendixes, while monkeys do not. Meanwhile, monkeys have a body shape that is similar to other mammals. In fact, their skeletal structure resembles a medium-sized mammal, such as a dog. 4. Movement As mentioned, apes have a body shape and size that's much closer to humans. They have an upright body position that enables them to walk on their two hind legs, just like us humans. Because of this, their arms are available to be used in a variety of purposes, such as creating tools used to forage for food. In addition, due to the presence of shoulder joints, they can also do a movement called brachiating, which is using their arms to swing through branches. On the other hand, monkeys can run on branches instead of brachiating. When walking, running, or crawling, monkeys are usually seen using all four of their limbs. 5. Intelligence and Behavior Primates are social and intelligent animals. Both apes and monkeys are able to remember where foods, landmarks, and dangers are in the range of their territory. It is true that the intelligence of apes and monkeys is not something you can determine just by looking at them. But in general, apes are more intelligent than monkeys because they have a larger brain-to-body size ratio that enables them to better think and solve problems. As a matter of fact, chimpanzees, which are genetically the closest apes to humans, can create their own tools which they use to hunt for food. Another difference between the two is their bedtime routine. While monkeys rest on tree branches, apes create their own nest each night by using brush, foliage, and branches that they've gathered. 6. Range Apes can only be found in Africa and Asia. Therefore, if you're in the Americas and you see a primate in the wild, it's surely not an ape. Meanwhile, monkeys can be found in Central and South America as well as Asia, Africa, and Europe. Monkeys and apes do not exist in Australia. Before we end, we wanted to give you a fun fact about apes and monkeys. Although they're called monkey bars, monkeys cannot actually use them due to the need for more shoulder mobility for arm-to-arm -arm swinging. Apes, on the other hand, have an upright body posture and shoulder joints and can properly use monkey bars without any difficulty. And that wraps up our video for today. I hope that by now you have a clearer and better understanding of the differences between apes and monkeys. Which among all the things we talked about surprised you the most? Or did you have anything to add? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. This has been Wild Facts. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you again in the next video.